Hello and welcome back to 3ds Max. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this oil drum. Um, you can take the things I'm going to be showing you and make the rest of the objects in the scene with a little bit of effort, but I'm not going to be showing you how to make them. So we're going to start off by making a new project and importing a cylinder. We're going to make the radius of it 35 and the height 100. And make sure the height segments and the cap segments are both on one and the sides are on 16. Once you've done that, we're going to right click it and convert it to an editable polygon and then select the edge tool. Select all the middle edges and click the connect button. Once in here, we're going to add two whoops, sorry, add two segments. There you go. If you deselect them, just click and drag and that will reselect them for you. I'm um, going to make sure there's two segments and I'm going to edit the height of them a little bit. You don't have to. And click the tick. We're then going to click extrude and we're going to want to adjust both of these kind of variables to make it look a bit more believable and realistic. So there you go, I like that, so I'm going to click the tick on it. And then um, we're going to want to start by making the uh, kind of cap or hole at the top, whatever you want to call it. So to do that we want to select the top face and click on uh, inset. Bring it in a little bit, not too much, and click the tick. We then want to extrude that inwards, not too much again, just enough to make it kind of clear that it is inset, and click on the tick, and then do the same again, add another inset, make this one a lot smaller because this is going to be the actual kind of kind of hole for the uh, whatever you're going to be pouring out the oil. Um, then select the select the move tool at the top and kind of drag it around by this little square here so it's whoops so it's both of them axes my bad there you go make sure you click the tip before you do that not like me and drag it over to one side once you do that extrude it up not too much I like to keep it just a tiny bit above the uh, actually maybe maybe the same height but whatever whatever you see fit and like the look of click the tick and um, that's it for the basic kind of shape but if you want to make the uh, object, ex object itself more game friendly you're going to want to delete the uh, cap and the base of the object and click on the edge tool hold down control and double click and that's going to select the entire kind of bottom of the shape and then we're going to want to hold alt and deselect the opposite faces and then click bridge and that's going to turn that end gone into a bunch of quads do the same for the top hold control and double click deselect opposite sides holding all and then click bridge tick there you go you got a game friendly uh, barrel um, you can go further with it and inset it again and make this hollow but um, I'm I'm not showing you that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful.